So let's talk about rents now. Rents are up 16.4% since January of 2021. That's that's in a year, yeah. one year. Well, we were wondering why rents were kind of stagnant for a while. Well, they're not anymore. <laughs> like everything else, they're going up. Yeah. But keep in mind that, you know, real estate is local. We all know that. Yeah. If you're in California, they're not really going up. There's nowhere else to go. Well, they're going down, they're actually. Right as up as yeah, they're, they're actually coming down significantly. So let's uh, <laughs> take a look at some underlying numbers. You've got 22 of the 100 largest cities saw rents fall in October. From so, the previous month. Yes. And, you know, we're still seeing some folks moving out of the some areas. Cities, yeah. So it, like I said, 22 out of the 100 largest markets saw rents fall. That's because people are moving to sm smaller markets. Tampa, for example, rents are up an astonishing 36%, 36%. My compared goodness. to March of 2020. That's And huge. then the largest rent decreases since March of 2020 were in San Francisco and Oakland, California. San Francisco is down 12%. Mm, and wow. Oakland is down 8%. The poop police are going to be out of a job. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. I forgot about that. By the way, I want to thank Randy Vetter for uh, forwarding this information yeah, to me. Yeah, he's great about doing that. You know, it's funny, funny, too, about um, the rent situation. Um, we are seeing a, a huge change in what's going on in the rent, and I can't help but question... That, you know, you got to say Airbnb is a huge craze right now. Like mm -hmm. everybody knows about it. In fact, when I was in uh, Lowe's yesterday, I had to buy some some things for an Airbnb that that I'm I'm almost done with. And I was telling him what it was for. And he said, Airbnb, what? What is A R what 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 is that? And I couldn't believe he You're had like, not you heard live of under it. A rock? That's what I said to him. Um, and so I explained him to him the concept and he was amazed, but he's like the first guy I've met in a very long time that had not heard of short-term rental properties uh, because everybody's, every, everybody's getting into it. It's like a new craze. Everybody wants to try it. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering if that isn't putting a dent into rental properties availability at this point, Well, especially the nicer ones. Well, sure. I mean, but and that's, that's also attributable to, some of the prices being bid up because when you're when you're looking at a three x potential margin on a house, no, and just you should never buy a rental property based full, on Airbnb. based based off of the short term rental. You should always buy a rental right. or a short term, long term, whatever based off the long term rent potential. That's common sense. That's common sense. So, <laughs> by the way, did I mention today is National Common Sense? Oh, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, well, that's cool. So. <laughs> Every day should be for most people. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, so you have these people buying on, you know, they're getting aggressive on these margins. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, I can make $4,000 a month. Right. You can. And I'm like, okay, so if I do that, then I, you know, I can, I can basically have, uh, I can, you know, have an eight cap if I bid up $20,000 over asking. Most of them won't understand what you just said. So <laughs> yield, cash on cash yield. <laughs> Uh, I'll make more money. <laughs> yeah. You will make more money. Um, well, you'll make you'll make not as much, but you're thinking it's going to be an acceptable amount because okay, eight percent sounds decent, right? But you have to make that money first. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, what Jonathan is saying is you can overpay for those homes because you can get more money for them. However, um, you always want that exit strategy. What if the Airbnb doesn't work out? What are you going to do then? What if your right? city changes their laws and that's will true. not allow it? And that's happening all over. What now, if you're in a neighborhood and the HOA changes, changes it? Just that's a, right. Like just as simple as an HOA can change that's that. That's exactly right. And do you think that um, Hilton and uh, Hyatt and Marriott and well, they're getting those, into it. Those types of folks uh, don't have a larger lobby than mom and pops they, they, they have do, a little bit but, of but they but they also no, own I, airbnb properties yeah I, yeah no, and i get short that. term i should say but most of those properties are going to be higher end mm -hmm. uh, you know yeah spa like properties right. whereas um the, the rest of the group are, are going to be lobbying the 
municipalities to make sure that they don't allow it close to their hotels. Right. 